What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Dirt Castle for the next and what might be the final episode of this season of Dead in Bermuda. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today. I think we need to be very, very careful about the things that we instigate here. So she's very hungry. I would say that we should probably give her one of those. And so that'll take her down to 65, which is non-critical. I forgot to level her up. Well, Jesus, that was a mistake. Alright, well, what we want to do now is her stealth. She's the person that's always sneaking around trying to get shit done. Her fighting is pretty decent. Her stealth is pretty decent. I think she'd probably be a solid scavenger if we could just keep pumping points into her. And so that'll be alright. She's actually cutting everything by 50% though because she's not feeling so great. I need her around the camp to chop wood and get stuff done. It makes sense that she would be good at stuff like this. I actually think some of the skill checks are a little bit wonky and weird. Where like sometimes it checks things that don't really seem to matter to me. Like this should just be a strength check. Like why is chopping trees a scavenging check? You know, I guess for the ropes and for... For the ropes and for the medicine it would make sense. But for the wood and the stones it's just like you just walk around and do it, you know? No particular focus. Does that give me like some of everything? I wonder what the gamble will be like if I do that. I'm gonna need more medicinal herbs anyway, so I might just do that for a little bit. On this side, they're looking okay. Who has the highest hunger? So he's at 68, she's at 65. I think he could probably do with one of these. And I think Jake is the other guy that I'm looking at that has like everything critical right now. And so I would probably throw that one on him to make him feel a little bit better so that... You know, he's there. He's not quite all there, but... A little bit better than where he was. How much fruit have I gathered today? Zero? Oh, we're in the morning. I was gonna say zero. How are we... Hmm... I got a little confused for a second. This has to get done right now, though. Oh, her hunger's pretty high, too. I'll feed her tonight. It'll be okay, I promise. We'll be alright. How much water do we have? That's the other thing. We got almost three days worth of water left. Not really, but two days. Good enough for me. We got bad rolls on all of those right there. So, unfortunately... Eh... I mean, I guess you could consider that anything better than 10 is a good roll, so... Next! Hopefully this works out. Oh, they finished it! I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. So the fishing rod has been added to the camp. Bam! There it is. And we do have a lot of people who know how to fish really, really well, so we should be able to use that to good measure, unless it just gives one to two fish each time. But that should still be enough. Four fish a day should be enough for me to keep people fed until we can build the cooking pot, I hope. Six fruit right there, so that'll take a little bit of an edge off. They fought while they were gathering, though. She sits so serenely. I don't know. That's what I notice. Every time she's working on something, she's like, Oh, that seems to be a way better deal with no particular focus. Oh my god, no particular focus is my jam. I'm gonna use that forever. You get way more stuff on that one. Especially considering the low boundary on rope is one, you might as well gather everything all at once and just, like, see what you get out. I'm wondering if you can get skunked, though. If you can get skunked, that would kind of suck, but, eh, you know, not a big deal. You're looking pretty fatigued, Wood. It might be time to sit you guys aside. It's fine, because Yuri rests really fast anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. His constitution is pretty high. On this side, she's going to keep on researching. Her hunger is getting the best of her, though. What I would say is that I should drag Bob over here to fish, because he appears to have good-ass fishing skills. You can get six fish?! Damn, son. You get nine fish out. Sometimes you get skunked, though, so it's going to be a gamble. It is going to be a gamble. Well, let's go for it. Ooh, I'm going to take her off real fast. No, 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 no. I clicked the wrong thing again. Son of a balls. Son of a balls. I am the worst at video games ever. They should both rest up pretty quickly, I think. Catch a fish. I'm so happy right now. We ducked death so closely. Quack, quack. Oh my god. That was like, things keep going wrong. And I'm just like, how do we, how do we keep going? Oh, shut it already. Leave me be. That's how you talk to me now, Robert. I'm very disappointed. It's been going on for hours. They could both only die silently. You shouldn't say that, Julia. You shouldn't. For once, I agree with her. They are far too loud, far too frequently. Wait, what? Our Majesty the Queen of Ice agrees with me for once? Thank you, milady, for reaching out to us lowly peasants. I didn't talk to you. Leave me alone. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but nobody thinks of changing himself. Go to hell. Two weeks. Two weeks we're here and everybody is on edge. I hope they don't end up killing each other. So everybody just decides that they hate each other. 
That's fine. Just don't die of starvation. That's all that I care about. So we've got fish. It doesn't help out that much. But it does help out a little. And it helps out most for her because she loses sickness by default every single day. So with other people, we kind of just want to be careful about this. Luckily, it looks like we don't get that much sickness. In fact, it seems that it's bugged because it says that you get 8 to 12 percent, but we're only getting like 1 or 2 percent right now. And that seems a lot more manageable. So you know what? Throw this on everybody right now. If they are close, make the most. Make a toast. I don't know. Do whatever the hell you want. But we need to save people from death right here. If I get people down to like, yeah, the 72, 73 region. Yup. The efficiency of our activities is going to be suspect for right now. But that leaves me with enough fruit right there to where I should be able to get some stuff done tomorrow. Maybe go like two more. Let's really, let's hit this hard. Okay. Now that sickness is going to build up, but eh, we should have the cooking pot done pretty soon, I hope. Maybe? Campfire, let's start with you. There it is. We will offset some of the damage we took right there. Their fatigue and depression. Depression is pretty bad for everybody right now. It is at questionable levels. So I would suggest that maybe we can't rotate everybody right now. Like, that's just not a thing that we can tangibly do at the moment. But... I really think, sincerely, if we can stay on top of this, we can get a really good food supply. I'm going to let him talk after this round right here. Maybe both of them, depending on what role they get. If they get nine fish again, then yeah, it'll probably be good to go. On this side, it's probably good for her to come through and talk to everybody too. The library, we don't really need to research anything right now, so let's just work on everybody's depression for a little bit. Water supplies, let me handle that before it warns me and treats me like I'm an idiot. We've got a couple of good rolls right there that I'm happy with, so that'll keep us going for another four days or so. End it! So discussion has gone up, depression has gone down slightly. I boosted his skill, so his discussion or his depression should go down a little bit more rapidly here. They'll also get a little bit of fatigue out of this, and so this frees some of the people from having to sit around on this side much longer and kind of waste space. We got three fresh fish right there. That's not going to be good enough. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to hope that the depression doesn't get worse. Eight fruit is pretty good, though. Eight fruit is pretty damn good, so I'll take that. That sounds good to me. Let's move Alejandro over here to rest. Her fatigue is not so bad, so let's bring her over to help out with the harvest, maybe. And then we'll leave them sitting over here, although their fatigue is pretty high. I think tomorrow I'll have to give them a day off, but we're actually making pretty good progress with our hunger right now. So we might be able to kind of stay on top of this, maybe. With the workshop, how are we looking on things for the cook pot? We have 23 wood, so we're almost there. We have four there, and we only need a couple of stones. So we might be able to put that together pretty quickly, too. And so after that, we might be able to rotate people from fishing to cooking, and we can make real meals to make people feel better. So we are, we are on the edge of it right now. I think if we can really just push through and make it through this nastier phase, we should be all right. As long as we don't get skunked fishing, it'll be a little bit better. So our chances, I mean, it's 1 in 10. That's not a terrible. A D10 to roll a 0. As long as we don't get a 0, I don't care, basically. Depression is all the way down for one of our characters, and it's getting down with other people. Their fatigue should be good enough that tomorrow they should be able to go back out and harvest some more. Got some family time in. He should be able to get himself unfatigued, too. Come on, guys. Two fresh fish. Okay, it's a low roll, but it's something. It's something. We have enough to, like, set everybody's stomach right now, and that's all that matters for the night. Constitution has gone up. She hit level 3, so we're going to be able to roll up her skills as well. Feeling good about it. Feeling good about it. We may be okay. Julia doesn't seem to care about your daughter. Is she really your wife? Second one. First one died long ago. I'm sorry for your loss. Poor girl raising up without the guidance of a caring mother. I can't imagine that, dude. That is brutal. Believe me. My best friend when I was 11 years old, his mom died of cancer. And he was like my best friend. Like I was always over at his house. And like they set up, they brought her home for hospice. I remember that. She died the day after. I was there the day before she died at her house. And like my friend and his dad, they didn't bounce back from it quick. It was bad. It was real bad. And it's one of those things that just like, I don't know, for some people it hardens them. And it just makes them just downright nasty. Like some people just take it like life has screwed me. Therefore, screw everybody else, you know. And some people don't deal with it well. Luckily, they... They're perfectly fine now, 20 years later, but damn, I remember that from when I was a kid. 
where like my mom had to sit me down and be like, you can't talk about this around them right now. Like, don't bring it up. What happened to your mom? Explain. No, just let it go. Don't do it. Not right now. Anyways, it's tough on a family. Being Between you not saying much with a shady past and certainly bad company and that Julia, it's a miracle Ileana didn't end up in jail already. I'm not judging you, but can we call that a family? Is Ileana happy? She's the victim of your bad choices. Jesus, Alice. God damn, shut your mouth. What is wrong with you? Are you broke in the head? Every happy family resembles one another. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. One thing is sure, I won't let a little girl handle this hell alone. I'll help her any way that I can. Like, she's well-intentioned, but she kind of strikes me as... I don't know, she's well-intentioned, but the shit that comes out of her mouth really makes me angry. Like, as a human being, just be like, shut your mouth, what are you doing? God damn. Like... Come on. Like, really? Just let it go. Next time you have a thought, let it pass. So let's get her fed. I'm gonna try and get everybody solved here. If people can get good rolls on this and get like the full 12%, we'll be in a lot better shape. Sickness is gonna be an issue, I'm not gonna lie to you right now. But between this and the fruit, it looks like we're breaking even right now. I wish there was an easier way than drag and drop to heal people, like maybe you could right click one of these and then it would stick to your cursor possibly. Either way, let's save a little bit of food. We're going to hand it around for right now. It looks like they all got pretty bad rolls right there. It looks like they got like 20 or 30% hunger off that go, so... Not something we want to deal with here. Let's get stomachs emptied out. I mean, that's the best that we can do. We have to hope for good fishing rolls. Jacob is starving and on the verge of suicide and very tired. Yeah, I know his depression is not looking good, but I kind of need him right now. I kind of need him right now. Isn't, aren't you pretty good at fishing? No, you're not. Wasn't there somebody else that was pretty damn good at fishing around here? It looks like his depression's going up even though we're not doing anything and even though it's not annotating it in the end notes. She leveled up again, so info, skills, keep that harvesting going up. That's all that we have right now. I mean, we really, really, really got to make this happen. And she's not even that good at it, so unfortunately... It's unfortunate, but I may need everybody to sort of just like powwow for right now. Depression is really high and really bad at the moment. Their fatigue isn't quite so bad. We might have to gamble on getting a good roll at the end of this. So let's put them out there right there. She's looking pretty good, so let's get her back on the research train. I would say we should probably do the same thing for the doctor. I mean, unless she can help out with something. But if we get low rolls right now, this is going to be a hell of a day, I'll tell you that much. Their depression isn't so terrible, so unfortunately I gotta put them back at pasture and have them working on shit right now. Because we are waiting on that cook pot. That's like all that we have at the moment. And so no particular focus, just grab whatever you can on the way through. If people have sickness, we can fix it with medicinal herbs as they continue to pile those up and it'll be okay. We definitely need to get people's depression and fatigue down though. So let's do that so that it's a big powwow. How's our water looking? 25. We got three days. We'll be okay. I think we just need to keep food rotating too. Like, if we don't keep food rotating, it's going to be bad for us. So, discussion has gone up. He's not very good at it, though. So, unfortunately, the depression gains we're going to have right here are going to be minimal. However, this works as kind of a sidebar to get him down slightly. And then we can put him back on fishing in the next part. Four fruit right there. Unfortunately, I need people to level up and just get better at this, and it's just not working out that way. They got three wood right there, two stones, three ropes, and one medicinal plant. So not a bad pull. Not a bad pull at all. I kind of got to leave them there. I We got 26, 4, 7. I got to get them, but we got to get the cook pot. We have no choice here. Like, the cook pot needs to get done. And how we're going to get that crafted, too, while we're waiting on stuff becomes a tough call. I'm going to let them continue to do multi-purposing over there. They're pretty fatigued. 
But up until my fishermen are running again, I don't have a ton of options here. His fishing skill seems to be... Actually, his is a little bit low. He gets a bonus, but he could use some help in getting rid of his depression. He's really good at hunting. If we could get him into hunting, I think we'd be doing a lot better. But it's just like it takes so many materials to get there. You know what, pal? Just stick it out with fishing for right now. Let's make you general purpose better at everything. And I need you guys to, like, roll a big number here right now. Whew! That's such a risk. That's such a risk. If we could sack this in, I'd be pretty happy, but I can't guarantee that it's going to happen like that. For her, I'm going to let her rest for right now. She's kind of my fill-in trooper at the moment. We don't really need to do research either. She leveled up. Okay, well, we can deal with that. Let's go ahead and we'll take her. She gets 14 skill points. My god, that is so many. That makes her really, really adaptable if I start moving things around for her. She got really good stealth, too. You know, I think her knowledge is good enough for right now. Instead, I think what I'm going to work on... Let's make her... Is that... What does that use right there? Constitution? What uses crafting? She's really, really, really good at agility and cooking. So I'm going to put her on cook pot duty before we get the cook pot. So if she can get those skills up right there between her and what's her name, they should be able to cook some pretty good meals in there. Relationships are suffering right now. People have not been getting along lately. And I haven't been doing a whole lot of communal activities either, which I think is problematic. What is she working on right now? I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's just have her over on this side. Just working on whatever and let's go. Fatigue is down. Fatigue is down. Two fresh fish. Son of a bitch. You know, this is the problem. Hey, we got eight out right there. So that'll... That sounded wrong. We got eight out. Eh. May or may not work. Scavenging over here needs to go well. I assure you that we need this. We didn't get any stones. We got three ropes. So it looks like that's the balance is that you can get skunked. All right. Well, that's that. You look completely exhausted. During my work as a holiday resort manager, I learned some things. Especially at the well. He's going to give her a massage? Hell yeah. Okay, perfect. So that's going to be nice. That'll save us a little bit of trouble, but we're still on the edge of death. So, <laughs> Tisk tisk, nudge, nudge, and all that. I'm having, tree I'm having a little bit of trouble stepping people back from the edge of death right now. She needs three. He needs three. Nah, he's good. Take that right there. And we should be all right, I guess. Keep spreading around the wealth. That's all that we got. We're trudging by day by day right now. Day by day. It looks like they just gain random depression in the middle of the night. It sucks, but it's understandable in this situation. It's not something that could really be fixed super easily. Get the fire back up and running. How are we looking on the cook pot right now? 15 rope and 5 stone. Okay. Let's go all in on rope right there because we need it. Are they tired? What are they looking at right now in terms of fatigue? Oh, they're good. Whatever. They're looking pretty good right here, too. Oh, actually, no, her fatigue is critical. So we'll bring that back. I have a little bit of gathering on her, so we'll have that to fill in the gap for right now. These two ain't got much of a choice, but I need y'all to fish. That's all that I can do right now. So, fishy, fishy, squishy, squishy, and all that. Get her done. I'm going to assume they got eight fish right there since they both leveled up that it didn't go badly. That's enough fish for everybody in the group to eat tonight. My debate now is whether I leave them six rope right there. A fantastic pull. Very, very good as far as luck is concerned. And in the PM, I will more than likely have them on the same thing. Just keep going with that. I also need to go through... I actually think they could streamline this UI right here by giving you the ability to select these and then putting the usable items, like the basic usables, like the medicinal herbs and whatnot up here so that you could click through them and just instantly apply them to fix people out right here. I think that would be a better way to handle that. I don't know if I should fish them through right now. 
Depression is looking like a major issue at the moment. I guess I could put people on fishing that don't really fish. I mean, she's not very good at it, but what if she has a good run, you know? Like, what if she has a really, really good role? Let's work on depression with everybody we can for right now. Because it appears to be getting very, very high on us. It's starting to get the best of us. His depression's low. How much do we have? Seven fruit right now? I would love to get another good harvest right there. But you know what? I need a wood pull on this side so that I can restoke. Actually, no, I don't. You can all go chill over here. It'll be okay. Everybody just chill out for a little bit and work on your depression because it's really, really bad on everybody. Then we gotta hope that we don't have a fight tonight, too. I feel like you tread water a lot in this game. Like, a lot, a lot. So depression is down. Good, 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 good. Slowly fixing everybody's issues. I also somewhat wonder if depression has anything to do with how much they fight or get mad at each other. Good, and everybody fixed their relationship a little bit too. Zero fresh fish on that side. It was a, you know, coin toss. Four fruit right there. We should be able to keep everybody locked in for right now. I debated putting a second person on it, but what are you going to do? Oh, cool. So he's doing the food event again with his wife. So there it is. Alice's hunger is down by 20, which actually saves our resources a little bit. All right, everybody. Fish time. And we have extra fish because Alice just got a freebie 20%. Go around the horn, and everybody gets their share. Hopefully they get good rolls. Not talking about no dinner rolls, neither. She didn't get much out of that one, but we have enough food right now to where I think I could take people down a little bit. Alright. Making a little bit of progress. You really need those fishing rolls, though. You don't really have much of a choice. If you can't get the good fishing rolls, you're going to be in trouble. It's going to be a bad day for you. Going right there, and I'm going to turn the rest into water the next day. So Jacob, for whatever reason, he is just ping-ponging right there. He's gaining almost as much every single time as he's losing. It's, it seems tough to me right now. It's hard to tread water with all this. It really sincerely is. Like, it's difficult to make any progress in this game because the meters and the losses seem to be tailored a little bit too high. Like, and that's the problem, is they're tailored like 10% too high so that all of the punishments seem to be a bit too much and you just can't seem to fix anything at the rate at which it goes down. That's the biggest problem I think we're running into. Bob, you get back over here and go fishing for a little while. And then is she any good at fishing? She got 30 right there. You know what, how is her fatigue looking? If I could put her back in over here with him, and then we could just have the two of them talk for the entire day, I think this would be an acceptable solution to the problem. I think that's something that I wouldn't be bummed out about. Focus on rope for right now. Actually, do we have enough rope? Because focus on stones if we don't. I need five stones. Cooking pot could be a reality very, very soon. So go for stones, and then the final gather of the day will actually just be wood, because I think I'm going to need to stoke the fire pretty soon. It's at 62%. And we got a bare minimum of two days right now. Yeah, I was going to do that, but it doesn't matter till tonight. There we go. We're back up and running. Let's go! His discussion skill. I may just leave him in here right now for the rest of the day to just, like, fix all of his shit. He got good eye, which makes him scavenge better. Not very useful, in all honesty. Hopefully we don't get skunked right here, because if we do... We got three. That's okay. Hope for a big roll on the next one. Seven fruit on that one, so that's really, really good, considering our water's a little bit not so great right now. Hope they get a good run right here. Five stones. Okay. Fatigue's looking pretty high. I have to put some people to bed, unfortunately. So we'll put them to bed. We'll put her to bed. Everybody else is, like, hanging in there. I need to put Alejandro in, though. How much fruit do we have? We have seven, and she can get two to four. Well, we're just going to have to hope on that one. Hope we get a good fish roll. If we get a zero, it's going to be a bad day for us. Little bit down right there. Whole bunch of fatigue gone on that side, although I'll probably let them rest for the next day, too. Don't skunk me. 
two fresh fish, so we got five out. We should be all right. That should be enough to supplement it with fruit. And she got a max roll, so we got 11 right there. Damn. Let's hope we don't get a bad event. Okay, so he helped with depression. That's nice. We got a good event. And people are right back up to starving. We are treading water so hard right now. So hard. We're making a little bit of progress with some people, but it's not quite enough. Get his hunger down a little bit further. His hunger down a little bit further. Her hunger down a little bit further. Man, we are hurting right now. We are hurting. And I got to turn some of this into water because we're going through water pretty quickly. So people are depressed, tired. We've got 11 water remaining. Fire intensity is looking bad. But we should be... I mean, we're recovering right now. It's just taking some work. I think that if we could tread water for just a little while longer, we should be all right. Like a couple... All we really need is like one day where we get a couple of max level rolls on fishing. And we'd be good. We could fix everybody by giving them double rations and get them down to like 50%. But for right now, people are just struggling. People are struggling hard, so... Fatigue's catching up on us, too. And we don't really have a choice. I kind of have to leave people around for right now. I'd like to keep our chances as high as possible when it comes to... Getting some of this done right here. And then I could have her help out with the harvesting for right now. It's not much. It only gives a 1-1, one, one, but I think I'm just about out of time right now anyways. I will see you all in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle. We're going to balance out some sickness. We're going to fix some stuff. If we could get like a 10 roll and a 5 roll on fish, I could fix people completely and we'd be fine. But for right now, we seem to keep getting low rolls like 3s and 2s. RNG keeps hurting us. I'll see you later. Hi to everybody.